Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the bi weekly contest 65 of walking robot simulation. So, I did this during a virtual contest, which is eh, for me like I try to emulate it as much as possible. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem or other contest problems from here. Um, there are a lot of smart people in the chat, so you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure out how to learn all these things together. Um, but yeah, um, so this one, uh, you can do, I think this one is just being very careful with the constraints. Um, and this is a data structure E problem. Um, and I think one thing that took me a little bit longer is just thinking about the constraints. Um, I actually end up taking about uh, 14, 15 minutes on this problem with one wrong answer. And we'll go over the wrong answer in a second. But uh, I took a long time mostly also just from implementation. This is a heavy implementation problem as well. Or not heavy, heavy, but like um, it, it's very easy to make silly mistakes as I did. Um, for example, one thing that I did was um, I, I mixed up the X and the Y and that was that took a, a long time to debug. Anyway, so the first thing I would do is just make sure you look at constraints. Um, if simulation was okay, then we it could have been okay. But the thing that made simulation at least not directly is is this nums thing, right? So basically what I mean by simulation is that I would take one step at a time and do what they tell you one step at a time, right? Um, but but doing this naively, if nums is 10 to the fifth, uh, like a lot of times, it's going to time out. And I, I, it probably is a solution here. But one thing to kind of catch from this solution is kind of, okay, when do you get into the same issue, right? And you get into the same issue because, well, in this case, this one thing to notice is also that um, you don't ever change direction. Um, so that means that, Oh, sorry. There's no no um, no in API to change direction. So that means that you can only go forward, and you only turn when you almost go out of bounds. And if you kind of trace that logic through, and that's what I did during the contest, and you can watch me solve it uh, live during the virtual contest. If you step that logic through, that means that you're always going on the border, right? You're always going on the border. And what does that mean? That means that if you always go on the border. Uh, your answer will be on the border, that's one. But that means that after one loop, you'll be at the starting place again. And in that case, um, you know, we, we look at constraints again. Um, actually, you don't, in theory, you don't need to. Um, you can actually do some maths to kind of speed that up. But I look at constraints and I go, okay, if the width and the height is at 100, and you can kind of think about it as drawing the perimeter, right? Um, that means that roughly, if I do this one step at a time, um, but skipping the loops, then I would do at most 400 steps, something like that, right? And 400 is going to be fast enough as 400 times 10 to the fourth. And that's basically my idea, and we'll go over it. And everything else is just implementation detail. Um, like I said, I think I I spent some, some time because I got confused about the X and the Y, but here is just the mapping the, uh, the labels, which is east, north, west, south, with with the directions which you have to kind of go through. You could see how I kind of do it, uh, which I, to be honest, just kind of talk it through out loud of like how I go about it. Um, and in that case, you start at zero, zero. You keep track of the width and the height and the direction you start at zero for my case because I start at yeast. Um, and and the get position and get direction is pretty straightforward from that on because you just return the label and also you get the current position. So from that, the move, we just do one step at a time. The, tr the thing here is that, okay, we we get rid of loops, right? Um, so the problem is that we do have one edge case where um, where if you do a perfect loop, you actually look um, south instead of yeast, um, even though you start looking at yeast until you make one more step and then you turn the direction, right? So the way that I did it, um, you, you can do this with an if statement or or the, at least the way that I did it is I just add another loop so that it simulates one loop at, if it doesn't have to move um, because num has to be at least one. So nums would never be zero. So if this is equal to zero, that means that is equal to this. That means that we just simulate the entire loop and that's pretty much it here we do what the problem tells you we we do n number of steps um and then we do one step at a time if it goes out of bounds we change direction and try again um and that's pretty much all i have um 
I had a lot of typos here, to be honest. It should not have taken me this long, but I did. And that's, I don't know, it is what it is. Um, but you could watch me sub it live next to kind of see where I made a lot of silly mistakes So because there's a lot of possibilities. Anyway, that's what I have for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, and you can watch me sub it live next. Give it a go. All right. Walking Robot Simulation 2. Um, bottom left. Top right. At zero zero facing geese. If it's move out bounds, we turn ninety. And we try to step counterclockwise. Which way is counterclockwise? Is it to the left or to the right? Hmm. That's just, I guess, left. Hmm. No, it's an API problem. So it just has okay starting position move. That's not so bad. I mean, this is not that bad. It's just a lot of <laughs> making sure everything's correct. Um, if, do, 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 do. Oh wait, wait, wait. Do we always start at zero zero? Okay. Oops. Okay, I guess that's pretty okay. Uh, I'll be zero index or one index, zero index, okay. So move or ignore for now. Um, yeah, maybe that's okay actually. So we want to start at yeast. Yeast is going plus, plus on the Y. And the cap, which way is calling it clockwise? They should just tell you uh, which way is kind of clockwise. I'm so bad at this. Um, so there's no rotation thing, okay? So first two steps, two steps. It turns and faces north, okay? So so then now it faces north, which is plus one x, and then now and then after that it goes this and then this. Hope that's right. Um, okay. Uh, so this is east, north, west, south. Oh, I thought I put this, but hmm. okay. and this is um, what is num? Num is ten to the fifth, and they're ten to the four cores. So we have to be really careful about our balance. I guess that's the problem. I didn't even think about this. Um, hmm. I guess the thing with not ch being able to change direction means that you're always on a border. I guess I didn't think about this one really. I just thought it was going to be simulation. Um, but it actually ends up being a little bit trickier for simulation. Um, and then we have to do some maps. Um, so given that this is 100, we can maximize it by 400. Let's see. Let's, let's make sure we have to off by one. Um, and so we're at a corner. It's going to take... One, two, three, four, five, four, width is equal to six, right? So that's going to take width minus one, and then height minus one. So just wait, um, something like this. Uh, 
Um, yeah, something like this. And this is MOS2, so that should al always work. If this is a 2 by 2 then it will give me 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, and this will give me 2. So I'm maybe off by 1 here somewhere. No, I, I, my math is just bad. This is this should give me four, so I think I'm right here. Okay, and then now after that we we just do a simulation. Um, the simulation is uh, okay. Oh no! I guess I could have done a four loop, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so that X. Uh, this isn't the way that I want to write it. Um, okay. I have this song stuck in my head, and it's, and it's a little bit confusing, but okay. So this is good. And then we, so we can continue. This is true. So if this is not true, right? Oh, righty then. Okay, here. Unless it goes infinite. No, this shouldn't be an infinite. Uh, this shouldn't be an infinite loop, but. Oh, I, it is an infinite loop because I forgot to update. Uh. I hope this thing is an infinite loop. Oh, whoops, this is an, uh, so many typos. Okay, let's try again. Yep. Uh, 2230 self. What is the answer? Nope. <laughs> Yikes. Huh. Move 22. Let's zero, zero. Oh, 204. Why do I have two two then? So it goes O two and then O Hmm. Did I mess up something? Probably. Hmm. Why did I go north already on this when Okay, let's give it a spin. So we go from zero one, zero two, zero three. How do I go to two next? Uh, hmm, that's awkward, right? Huh. Uh, I'm making some silly mistake somewhere. I don't change anything anywhere else, so. Let's 
do it afterwards like that. If I have some typo somewhere, because I feel like I've been really typoing today. Um, hmm. Zero one, zero two. Okay, so it actually goes here. But why not zero three? Did I miss mix up the x and the y? I probably mixed up the x and the y. Um, so x is with in this case. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so now now uh, everything is mixed up. I mixed up my X and my Y. Who, who does this? But okay, focus, focus. I just have to change this. I think. Um, so that means that now we start going yeast, which is plus X. Okay, so plus X. And then we go north, which is plus y. Um, and then we go west, which is negative x. And then finally, okay, let's see. Hmm. Oh, that, mm, that is the right answer. Is that the right answer? Uh, it is the right answer, okay. I, I For some reason, I thought we had north going is the right answer, but... Um, hmm, am I good? This is so prone to typos that I'm like a little bit not, not um, certain. But also, this is like ten lines of code, so let's give it a submit and hope I don't have an edge case. Um, oof, yikes! I mean, this is not that surprising. I was just being lazy. Um, I, I definitely shift into um try the case where I do the mod, but hmm. This input is just unreadable as well. Let's, can I explain this? Yikes. I probably did the mod wrong, maybe. Hmm. Off by one on the mod. Ah, jeez. This is 97 by 98. So the direction is okay. Um, and then not. <sighs> Yikes. Okay, let's... This is a silly one. Okay, fine. Um... Uh, do, 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 do. Maybe the mod is off by one. Let's see. I think the mod is okay, but it may be that my direction is wrong. I I don't know that I'm facing the right direction. Um. So basically, attempt to move forward first. This is, I mean, this is right for this one, but okay. But I think maybe my mod is wrong. I don't know. That's the only thing that I have some doubts about. Yeah, okay. Hmm. What a yikes. I mean, I'm in the right location. Uh, I'm looking at the spot checking these answers. It looks like I'm right, except for that I get the directions wrong. Um, so maybe I'm having an off by one somewhere. Uh, on this mod. Hmm. That is odd, isn't it? Debugging is hard. I'm trying to figure out how which strategy. What are all these numbers? How are we always at zero zero? Are these just multiple? Uh, like what's 97 plus 98 but we, we so we got that math right we're just facing the wrong direction afterwards oh because we loop back to the same spot but the direction is different uh i i didn't really consider this okay but we, what we can do though is um we do this but we also hmm Okay, so does num have to be greater than zero? Yes. So if num is equal to zero, we still do. I think this should self-correct this. Um, so we just do one simulation loop, so we don't worry about. So I think that's what happened. Uh, oh, 
copy it here. That is a silly mistake if true. Um, yeah, now it should, it looks okay. Uh, uh, where's my submit button? I think that looks okay. I don't know, can't tell. This is way too long to, to see if this is right, right? But that's a good, that's actually a good um, edge case, uh, to be honest. Uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, other contests, problems from this contest, other contests. Just come to Discord, show your code, read some code. Uh, a lot of smarty pants in there. Uh, so yeah, come check us out. Uh, I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.